So now in the systemic uh, bacteriology, we are almost in the uh, last alphabets. That is the V and Y. V for Vibrio, Y for Ersinia pestis. Both are important topic. Now let's start the topic. Okay. So now before going to this, I would like to a little bit discuss about this uh, uh, Vibrio. How to remember Vibrio? See, you know, Vibrio is very important because it causes cholera. Cholera always, you know, in India, it's very common. We have frequent outbreaks everywhere. And a lot of questions, theory, practical, and also for your uh, PG exams, it's very, very important. Okay. So how to remember I always remember this like this. How it is up to you how you want to remember. I remember uh, Vibrio as Viba. Viba is a girl. She is a darling. She is such a darling sweet girl. She is such a darling sweet girl. Number two, she uh, she is a star. She is a star. Number three, she has a carry bag. Carry bag, and who carries her? Mister Venkat Ramanan. Mister Venkat Ramanan. V R Venkat Ramanan. Venkat Raman. Okay, Venkat Ramanan. Okay, these are some few important, uh, you know, like, uh, what to say, the sports, you know, just, you will have to catch it. Okay, you can't leave it. Okay, so why I say darling? Because darting motility. Again, frequently asked question, darting motility, darting motility. Or they call shooting star motility, shooting star. Shooting star, darting motility. Or it's also called shooting star motility, shooting star motility. And also carry back because carry player. Clary Bell is the media for transporting. Also, Venkat Raman and Ramakrishnan. We are medias. So, these are the frequently asked questions. There are many things, but then these are frequently asked. Remember that. Okay, this in Vibrio, you must know this. Without knowing this, you can't go. Okay. Anyway, we're going to discuss that now. So, let's start. Let's start with the Vibrio color. Zero groups are basically O1 and rest all comes non O1. Non O1 is O2 to O139 we have. Okay, that's different. Now, important is O1. In O1, we have biotypes called Classic and Eldor. Classic and Eldor. Classic and Eldor biotypes differences frequently they ask. Like in diphtheria, you have been uh, in diphtheria, we have biotypes. You remember, right? What are they? Gravis, Mitis, Intermedios. Same way in Vibrio, we have what? We have Classic and Eldor type. So, how to remember? It's very simple and frequently as this. This I'll put a very, very important because frequently they'll ask you to difference basis. Mein aapko question aja pa. So, how to remember here? Very, very, very simple. Classic and Eldor. The only thing, the main thing you have to remember is Eltor, Mr. Eltor. Classic, classic, only two things. Polymyxin B, phase susceptible. That's it. Polymyxin B and phase susceptible. That's it. For Eltor, how to remember? Remember Mr. Eltor, Mr. Eltor. Okay, Mr. Eltor. Mr. Eltor ka kya kya pasand hai? He likes to eat. Kya kya kana uska pasand hai? Ek uska veg parata pasand hai. Veg parata. Veg parata pasand hai. Okay. Number two, what he likes? He likes to do camping. Camp me to kata hai na? Camp me kata. Camp me kya kya kata hai? He likes to eat chicken. He likes to eat sheep. He's a non veg guy. Okay. He eats veg parata also. And he eats non veg also. Both. He's, he's happy with everything. Why did I say veg parata? Because VP is positive here. Why did I say he likes camp? Camp is positive here. Eltor, Eltor, Mr. Eltor. Chicken is ka? Because it causes what? RBC. Chicken RBC agglutination. And sheep because it causes hemolysis. Sheep RBC hemolysis. In sheep agar it causes in sheep blood agar it causes hemolysis. But ye ye apko Mr. Eltor ka favorite. Mr. Eltor likes to eat, eat, eat. Classic me a nahi hai. Classic me all these things will be negative. Only just polymyxin and phase susceptibility will be positive. Bas ho gaya. That's it. This is the one you're going to see, right? So now next, next one. Uh, so this is over now. VP cam RBC agglutination. This is for classifying the Eltor and classic type. And serotypes, if you see, we have three serotypes. What are they? Ogawa, Inaba, Hikojima. Ogawa, Inaba, Hikojima. It's just the names you should remember. Okay, they might ask you what are the serotypes. Serotypes are Ogawa, Inaba, Hikojima. So what is the disease? The Vibrio causes, when you talk about Vibrio cholera, of course it causes the cholera. What is the main risk factor? That's a question. Which is the main risk factor? Who are the people who are exposed to cholera more? Whoever is having low acid production in their stomach, decreased acid production, decreased acid or acidity. That means more alkalinity. Okay, acidity come in, what is alkalinity? Chaga hai. So who have stomach mein low acidity? Who are the people who have low acidity? People who are having A chloride. Genetically, they have A chloride. You will see in surgery. A chloride means low HCl production. Okay, and some PPA. PPA, you know, those are the proton pump inhibitors, the drugs like your pantoprazole, uh, omiprazole, okay, all those things, prazole, prazole. Anything, even your uh, ranitidin, rantac, anything, any drugs that causes decreased acid production in your GIT, they are, uh, they increase the risk factor of cholera. Okay. And then other ones are gastrectomy. Of course, gastrectomy, stomach, of course, you have decreased acidity. So these are important questions you can have. 
so which is the most common root fecal oral root it can be anything usually water but it can be even food also okay fecal oral root is the common root now how does vibrio toxin that's an important question again ek to camp kiska eltor likes to do camping eating all the things also vibrio also acts as cyclic amp this was, this is not a camp camp but you remember camp this is a cyclic amp okay this is the way how it works this is also question vibrio toxin acts through cyclic amp Okay, when you bought a clopetrisis, also cyclic AMP. If you remember, okay, I'm just trying to bring it here. Petrisis toxin acts in the same way. Okay, now, but not Shigala. Shigala is, you remember? Shigala, yes, for yes. That is 60, yes. 60, Shigala, yes. How are you want to remember? Okay, that's it. Infective dose is uh, more than 10 to the power 6 bacilli unit. That's what you need. High infective dose where, where, for vibratory infection. But Shigala, it was just only 10 to 100, if you remember. Okay, so infective dose is an important question. I already told you previous class also. And which poisoning is similar to cholera? That's a forensic question. You remember? Who, who, who is that? See, in Tamil, in our language, Tamil, arsan means arasan. Arasan is a king. Arasan is like, you know, they call arasan. Arasan is basically a king. So king gets what? King ko kya hota hai? King usually gets cholera. That's what I remember. You remember how you want. Or you remember any person called arsen. Arsen ke kya? Arsenic poisoning. Arsenic poisoning. You remember anyone with arsen? Arsen gets cholera. Arsen has cholera. Okay. That's it. Very simple. What are the transport media? As I told you, we have three transport media, important media. You have to know Vibrio ko kya pasand hai? Ek to Vibrio ko carry bag pasand hai. She likes the carry bag. Carry bag mein kya leke jate? Usually she takes what? Sea water. Sea water person who's cast sea water pinnacle person is strange. Viva is very strange girl. Okay. Dusra kya hai? Who carries a Venkat Ramanan? Our South Indian Venkat Ramanan. Venkat Ramanan. He carries the Viva. Okay. Okay. This is a remembrance. Okay. So transport media. So now you got the answers. Now let's see what are they. Transport one is carry player. Carry player. Okay. Viva ke pas carry bag hai. Is me kya hai? Sea water. What sea water? Autoclave seawater can be used as a transport media. Autoclave. Autoclave seawater. Dusra kone VR media. Venkat Raman and Ramakrishnan media. VR media. Venkat Raman and Ramakrishnan media also carries Viva. Okay. Then enrichment water. In enrichment media, see, uh, whenever whenever you get a stool sample, you know, uh, the ward they are sending to microbiology lab. So then what we have to do, we want to increase the uh the, the increase the chance of what increase the growth fast that so that we can see okay we have to enrich the uh organism so what which is the media we're using alkaline peptone water frequently asked question alkaline peptone water you can't leave this one because frequently they have asked this question alkaline peptone water both the transport and both are important and selective media tcbs and bca are important that most specific would be tcbs this one tcbs and uh, your TCBS media and the BSA. This is BSA and this is TCB. Okay. These two. So TCBS is better than BSA, but doesn't matter. Both are right. Okay. Tauro correct bismuth. So means you have a bismuth. Bismuth is the main constraint here. Okay. So remember TCBS and BCA media. Right. That's also the question. Now in gram stain, it's a comma shape. You already know. It's a gram negative. It's just a gram negative. So let me use red color because it's red. Uh, it's, you know, usually it is uh, the color. It will be pink color. It is a negative. Gram negative, comma shape. Sometimes, you know, they call it as, they call it as the, what? <clears throat> they call it fish stream appearance, fish stream. Or stream of fish, stream of fish, not the pool of fish. Pool of fish come with the H decree. Okay, pool of fish, you can see it in the H decree. Pool of fish, pool of fish is in H decree. Pool of fish. Or tram track in H decree. That's different. See, I'm I'm just making a thing because two jaga mein fish aata hai. Okay, a gram native mein kama shaped uh, vibrio colorless fish stream appearance they have. Okay, remember that. What about motility? We already spoke. Maine kya bola tha? Darling viva is a star. Darling viva is a star. So darting motility and darting motility and other one is your shooting star. Shooting star. Shooting star motility. Shooting star motility. That's it. Okay. Now biochemical test. What is this test? Can you identify? See, you made a colony with the bile, the, uh, in a bile we, with using the bile, we made this, um, we mixed the suspension of the Vibrio, and then we are trying to remove it up. Then what do you see? You see a string like this. Okay, what is this? The string. So it is, it is called string, string test. Okay, string test. So this is for Vibrio cholera. For Vibrio, the string test is positive. Also question. We have another string in parasitology. I'm not going to talk about that. Is basically you're putting a capsule and all inside. That is also there in parasitology. We're going to talk there. That is GCS. Glasgow comma um, Glasgow coma score, if you remember, okay, that is G for GRD, C for cryptosporidium, S for strong lordis. We'll talk in the parasitology, but please remember, <clears throat> in a parasite also we have a string test. That's also question important. Okay, here the string test is Vibrio, very easy, and of course Vibrio, you know, and uh, of course Vibrio, uh, the, see Vibrio, it looks like this. You know, it usually is like this. 
single polar. Laker pseudomonas also has somewhat like the single unipolar Vibrio also. So Vibrio oxidase test positive and string test positive. That's it. That's what I want to say. Okay, question. Question, question. String means Viba. Viba string se mar jati hai. She puts a string herself and she, no, of course she not die. <laughs> Just remember, okay. Viba, she wears her string on her neck and then she tries to, whatever, you know, I don't want to use that word, okay. So the string for Viba. Viba means string. She, Viba, she puts a string on her neck. That's it. Whatever. Okay. Right. Now, halophilic. Halophilic as a salt loving vibrio. Halo is a salt a salt loving vibrio. Okay. Halophilic salt loving vibrio. So here parahemolytic is. See, uh, we uh, parahemolytic again, it's a seafood. Seafood is a food poisoning. It's a food poisoning. Now, so food poisoning, another way is what? What is uh, it? Uh, we, uh, uh, the food poisoning here, see, uh, it. Uh, what, the main thing is parahemolyticus is usually uh, yeah, what, it, what it causes actually. There is one special growth, typical growth, which you saw in the Proteus also. What is that growth? Swarming growth. So remember, Viba, but not Viba, Para. Para, or remember Param, Proteus and Param, Parahemal, because it's a Parahemolyticus Vibrio, they are swarming growth. Usually it's for Proteus, they are swarming growth, but also remember Parahemolyticus also, Param. Param also swarms, swarms. Okay, Proteus P, Param P, Parahemolyticus. Okay, that question is asked. And what is this? Uh, see, usually it causes hemolysis on the high salt agar. It causes hemolysis on the high salt agar. What is the name of that phenomena? The phenomena name is called Kanagawa. 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 Okay. You remember one Kansasi? Mycobacterium Kansasi, right? Kansasi. Kansasi. That is for, it, 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 it has TB-like lesion and it's a photochromogen. Photochromogen. Oh, I like that. TB me aata, mycobacterium me aata. Okay. Ye Kanagawa phenomena is, is characteristic for your Parahemolyticus because Param ka kya pasand hai? Kanaga pasand hai. Ka Param likes Kanaga. This question is asked and you will be confused. So please remember, Param likes swarming and he has Kanaga. He likes Kanaga. 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 He likes Kanaga. Okay. Param likes Kanaga. How he loves Kanaga. Whatever you want. Okay. Girlfriend is Kanaga. Whatever. But remember, Parahemolyticus, Param. This is the thing. Okay. Now, Wulnificus. Wulnificus is basically the name itself says Wulnificus means it's dangerous. Something, you know, wolf, wolf, wolf. Okay. So, ideally, what happens? This is from the seafood. Usually, it comes from the seafood because they all are salt loving. Uh, Vibrio itself is a salt loving bacteria. So, Vibrio Wulnificus is sour. It causes what? Wound infection. That's what the question will be asked. Which of the Vibrio causes the wound infection? Then the answer would be this. This is the Vibrio Wulnificus. Because wool, Wulni, Wulnificus means that it sounds like a wolf. Wolf kya karta hai? Of course, it will eat your eat you. It will eat your flesh. It will eat your flesh. Wound infection. Okay. So that's what. So this is dangerous one. This is dangerous one. It causes which of the following vibrio causes sepsis and wound infection means directly you can mark what wolnificus. Wolnificus means like a wolf. Wolf. Wolf eats your flesh. Okay. And this is the only lactose fermenter. Only lactose fermenter. Remember because vibrio called it is non lactose fermenter. This is the only. Fermenter. Okay. Alginolyticus. Alginolyticus is the most halophilic. It means almost what? It will grow in 10% of NaCl salt. Okay. Most, which is the most halophilic? Algino. Algino is highest, most halophilic. That's it. Okay. So this is about your Vibrio, no, Vibrio color or Viba. Whatever you want. Darling Viba, shooting star. Um, and then, you know, Caribbean, Venkatraman, Ramakrishna Media. Apart from that, you should know extra is the Param. Param likes uh, Kanaga, Kanaga phenomena. And Param is what? Param is again. Swarming growth. Okay. And of course, your vulnificus is the wound infection means vulnificus. Vulnificus. Cause the, which vibrio causes? Well, this one. Vulnificus. And then your alginolyticus is the most halophilic, which grows in 10% of uh, salt. Okay. HAC, NACL. Now, Yersinia. Yersinia is the next interesting topic. Yersinia, we have two, two species are important. Yersinia entrocolitica and your Yersinia, which one Yersinia entrocolitica and Yersinia pestis. Of course, pestis is most important because it's plague. Now, uh, in entrocolitica, the name itself is important. See, they say enterocolitica. So, it causes gastroenteritis. The most important question is pseudo appendicitis. Was a question asked even in my exam? Which of the following bacteria uh, mimics the pseudo appendicitis? It causes pseudo appendicitis means it's your enterocolitica, Ersinia enterocolitica, which is UDS positive also. That's it. And UDS positive organism uh, from Ersinia, which causes pseudo appendicitis, is your Ersinia enterocolitica. Right. Now, Ersinia pestis is the most important one. So, when you are thinking about Ersinia pestis, it causes the plague. That's one thing. Okay, we'll 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 go there. Before going that, I want a few things to. Okay, we'll I'll I'll, I'll tell you in uh, uh, coming. So you know, Ersinia pestis causes what? Which disease? It's the plague, plague, plague. You know it very well. 
So Ersinia pestis causes the plague, which is the black death, black death question. Reservoirs or rodents, you know, transmitted by which one? What is this? This is the, this picture might come. It's a rat flea, rat flea, rat flea. Mostly they give you rat flea. Some exam, they give this, uh, they are specific biological name, Xenopsella chiopsis. Xenopsella chiopsis, Xenopsella, Sella, Xenopsella chiopsis, okay. Uh, that's the most common route followed by the direct contact and inhalation also. Virulence factor is F1 AG antigen. I'll tell you how to remember that also. F1 antigen or LPS. These are the important virulence factors. So now again, what are the types of plague we have? Which is the most common type? Like for bacillus anthrax, is the last, which is the most common type? It was a cutaneous. Yeah, cutaneous. You know, Harry Potter we have there. Yeah, Harry Potter, wool sorter is a pulmonary, a dangerous one, but common one is your Harry Potter cutaneous. Some here in plague, the most common plague is bubonic. Bubonic. I just show you the picture there. See, this is the bubonic. This is the bubonic type. Okay. This is the typical bubonic type. Uh, you see her bubos growing bigger, bigger. And then later on, when it goes to the septic plague, already, you know, it causes gangrene of the finger and all. That's the reason we call this a black death. One of the, the, the reason for the patient death. Okay. So now let's take about the bubonic. Bubonic is the most common. They'll ask you this question, which is the most common. That's a bubonic plague is the most common one. Then pulmonary plague, which causes the pneumonia. And then the, uh, the last one is septic plague. Septic plague, as I showed you the picture, you, it causes the gangrene of the toes and fingers and finally leads to the black death. That's the death. That's the reason why we call this a death. Sepsis means, you know, it goes everywhere and infection, and then it blocks the thing and then they have the thing. Okay. Right. Now the diagnostic part is very important. Whenever you think about Yersinia pestis or plague, the guy should come in your mind is Vaisen. Vaisen. What is a Vaisen? First of all, Vaisen is a good person. Why he always buy what? Whenever you think about plague or your senior face, just think about Vaisen. Vaisen always buy safety pin. He always buy safety pin to his wife. Dusra uske pas kya tha? Ghee stall hai. Uske pas hai ghee stall. Wo uska ghee hai ek dam have fun. First class. Hai. First class. First class ghee. Uske pas ghee stall hai. First class. Okay. I think you already know that. Why I know I gave you the clue. So you will say. The special stain is basin stain. Special stain. This is a question. That's what I'm, I'm stressing. This is a stain. The special stain. For plague. For Ersinia pestis is. For Ersinia pestis is. Your uh, basin stain. Safety pin appearance. This is on gram stain. You'll get safety pin appearance. Okay. What's a ghee stall? Because in ghee broth, in ghee broth, see, this is the safety pin appearance. I told safety pin here. See, see here. This is the safety pin like this. This, right? What you're seeing. This, this is the safety pin appearance. In base and stain, you'll see the safety pin appearance. Okay, this is the safety pin appearance. So I'm going to write here base and stain. Okay, base and stain. Ghee stall in ghee broth, stall Q is stalachite. Is the stalachite growth, stalachite growth, stalachite growth. Bus hogya. F1 because which is the which is which is the test you which is the one you're going to do F1 antigen. That is the testing. That is another testing method to detect the uh Ersinia pestis, your plague. So see, hogya what to remember? Ersinia pestis always confused and people mix it up with many diseases. And this is a frequent asking Ersinia pestis. I don't know why, but don't think too much. Plague to eki yadane vesen, 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 vesen ka gau me or somewhere, vesen ka a place me plague. So, Vaisen kya hai? So, bipolar or safety pin appearance. Ghee broth. Uska kya hai? Uske pas ghee stall hai. That's what? What? In ghee broth mein stalachite growth a jayega. Stalachite growth. Hef1 antigen detection. Mene bola tha uska ghee ek dam first class. First class ghee hai uske pas. Thik hai? Bas, that's it. So, treatment is your streptomycin and gentamicin. It's an IA. Very simple. So, Vibrio and Yersinia, some, these are some topics you, know, you will like think like, oh my God, already I have Staphylococcus, Streptococcus. So many things around me. How to remember? Remember like this. Viba means Viba darling. Yersinia pestis means Vaisen. Vaisen is uske pas ghee stall hai. Stall hai, ghee growth, stallachite. Wife ka, he gives what? The safety pin appearance. Bas, it's na yad karna. And then what is it remember? Uh, uh, the, the, you, you remember the picture? See, when you say stalachite growth, this is the stalachite growth. See, this one, the picture here. Stalachite is this one, this growth. This growth, you're seeing, this is the stalachite growth. Jab winter, mein, uh, if you see in winter snow, uh, bar, if you see in, uh, in uh, places like Kashmir and all, or wherever this wind, you can see some the snow is hanging like this, like a stone. That's the stalachite growth. Okay, remember that. 
नॉट इन्वर्टेड फिट्री इन्वर्टेड फिट्री कहाँ था यू हैव इन्वर्टेड फिट्री इन्वर्टेड फिट्री आल्सो समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट इज यू सीट इन दी बेसिलस आंत्रक्स बासी बासी के पास है बेसिलस आंत्रक्स ओके इन्वर्टेड फिट्री इन्वर्टेड फिट्री और इन्वर्टेड फिट्री और इन्वर्टेड क्रिसमस ट्री दैट्स इन दी बेसिलस आंत्रक्सेस ओके डोंट फॉरगेट दैट दैट्स डिफरेंट स्टोरी एंड कॉबवेब फिनोमेना भी एक है कॉबवेब दैट इज इन टीबी कॉबवेब कॉबवेब इज इन टीबी दिस इज सम स्पेशल स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स इन ट्यूब यू कैन सी सो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम ब्रिंगिंग इट हियर ओके दैट्स इट एंड द ट्रीटमेंट इज व्हाट स्टेप्टोमाइसिन एंड जेंटामाइसिन इट्स आस्ट स्टेप्टोमाइसिन हैज बीन आस्ट मेनी टाइम्स सो स्टेप्टोमाइसिन इज ओके इट्स इन द ऑप्शन दैट यू हैव ओके दैट्स ऑल वेरी वेरी सिंपल विब्रियन एरसिनी यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू मेक मिस्टेक सो वी आर केम टू एंड ऑफ ऑफ सिस्टमिक पैथोलॉजी सो नेक्स्ट क्लास विल बी इदर माइकोलॉजी और पैरासाइकोलॉजी थैंक यू सो मच गाइस